What's up guys? It is Friday, so you know we've got another update video. Today we've got a pretty nice one from Dark, so big shout outs to Dark for getting this done. We have the collection log. Yes, yes, we have the collection log. It updates. Uh, it does not have like pre-existing stuff, so if you've done any of these things, it won't, you know, won't be there, but uh, it will proc now. Uh, there's some things that don't work, for example, Winter Tot, I think Winter Tot's one of them that isn't working, Winter Tot, the minigame one, some of those still gotta get added, but bosses and clues and all that should work, let's, uh, let me, uh, uh, what's an ID shoot, so here's just a bunch of easy clues, hopefully we get some uniques, I'm gonna be so mad if we don't, here we got Barret, uh, clues, uh, easy, yeah, it's nice, so you can see the elegance unlocked, the Beret, we need to add, uh, I guess we should add beginner clues. I wasn't going to add beginner clues because they're kind of pointless, but I suppose if the collection log exists and the reward, eh, maybe, maybe we will just, just for this reason alone. Shared treasures. Okay, that's cool that that even works. Nice. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Dark. Collection log works. Uh, in order to buy it, you have to go to the achievement shop, or not the achievement shop, the, um, the, P the pug, the, the PVM... The Adventure Point Shop. It was originally going to be called Pug Points because that's what it was called in the last server, but then I changed it to Adventure Points just so it would be less or more obvious to the casual player. Because obviously, if you if you didn't know me and my server, like my history with pugs and all that, you might be confused as to hell what the Pug Points was. So I, thought, I figured Adventure Points. Uh, also, another item that was added was Double Experience Scroll. This does give you double experience for 60 minutes, but it is very pricey. So that is fun. Two new inventions were added. The Rune Infuser, which we will purchase. I think I already had one, right? I already had one. And then the Chinchampa Replicator, which uh, is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll explain again. So the Rune Infuser, basically these are the requirements, and it just lets you make combo runes. Yeah. Since, uh, since rune crafting is not really a thing, and it is a part of magic technically, but... You know, who, who really wants to do any of this, right? If you've ever actually made combination runes in actual runescape, it's dumb and pointless, and you would never actually do it to make runes realistically. So I just thought that something like this made sense, and it only requires five inventions, very low level, low cost and everything. And then the higher tier one uh, at 60 is the Chinchampa Replicator, and this basically just duplicates your Chinchampas. If you have 100 Chinchampas and the components, it will duplicate your Chinchampas. You'll now have 200 Chinchampas. And you can see the component cost and everything right there. So, uh, two nice, uh, fun inventions. You can now get the thieving pet from pickpocketing and wall safes. For some reason, it wasn't uh, available from there. It was only available from stalls, so we fixed that. And then now pets should yell, so that's something that should be fun. Hopefully, you know, obviously somebody has to get a pet before we'll be able to confirm that it yells. But uh, in my testings, it did seem that that was fixed. Now, Winter Tot also received some improvements. So for starters, you can no longer leech when it's hot. You now have to do a minimum amount of contribution to get a reward. Uh, no more leechers. Uh, you can now also trade in some extra pieces. So if you just trade in your pieces, boom, extra supply crates. Just the base crates. I'm pretty sure that has, that's how it is on uh, old school. But, you know, if you have extra pieces, why not? And then now you'll actually correctly keep the rejuvenation potions. Uh, those no longer disappear. You can now disassemble spirit seeds. And then also with invention, if you right click here, it actually says invention now instead of runecraft. The magic oyster schematic now only, uh, it only requires one magic oyster to do elite clues. Uh, it's still two for masters, but it's only one for elite, hard, easy, and mediums. The ancient altar, altar in your house, it, uh, it, it use, well, in old school it requires a feral scepter, but in my opinion, a feral scepter is too cool of an item to waste uh, for just a construction thingy in your house. So I, I changed it to an ancient crystal. It's the same ancient crystal that you can buy from the Bounty Hunter shop in Edgeville. If you have donated $25, you have amount spent uh, 25 you can now access the Emerald Lounge. That is this ladder right here. Go down it. I gotta go to this seedy little place, and you should be able to find Rosalo. You can trade him. He has some interesting things. Uh, this log, the synthetic log, gives you organic components, and then generic armor gives you generic components. So it's basically viable components for these two. Ice barrage rune pack, rune pack <laughs> gives you a thousand uh, barrage casts. So uh, that's a nice way to get bloods. Um, 
if you're willing to put up with the death runes and the water runes as well. A little bit of food, I guess, if you're an Iron Man, there's some, some food that's healthy for you. And for non-Iron Man, this is pretty pointless. And then, obviously, recoils are probably the most important thing for some people, because apparently a lot of them are bought out. Uh, you also have these gangsters over here, which I'll show you what they look like. Uh, monster gangster. Uh, so you can see they've got some noted herbs on the drops, some cash related drops. Uh, they do drop blood runes as well, so you can get some of those there. Planks. And then you can get every tier of clue scroll. Well, not every tier, but uh, the three easy tiers easy, medium, and hard. And then you can also get tooth halves. So. Uh, nothing crazy, but you can see, you know, some people would, would be interested in killing them, you know. God blessings are now uh, available from Elite Clue Scrolls. I'm trying to give Elite Clue Scrolls more unique items. That's why I'm deciding not to add to hards. In my opinion, hards are already good enough. They don't need more items. So I think giving it to Elite Clues and making it exclusive to Elite Clues will just help them out. Another thing that's nice about schematics is... If you examine them, I don't think I did it with the new ones. I didn't do it with the new ones, but <laughs> let me go find an old one. Uh, uh, if you examine schematics, this should tell you the component cost. I just totally whiffed and forgot to do it on the newest ones. And it doesn't seem to be working at all. I really hope that that... Uh, okay, never mind then. I guess I'm wrong. What? That was like one of the very first things I coded, so I don't understand why that's wrong now. Finding out... Yep. All right. Fuck. But all right. Well, ignore the ignore me. Then I'm a retard. And then the last one I'm gonna talk about is the Titans upgrade thingies are now in here, so you can purchase them again if you lost them or if you're like it's usually just Ultimate Iron Man because they want to keep the item, so they had to drop it. Uh, and then the last thing is, if you purchase $50 or $100 bonds, you'll now get bonus points. It's a bonus 10%. If you donated in the past any of those amounts, if like you bought a $50 bond or a $100 bond, then you will get uh, you, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to get your points. Uh, contact me on the Discord, and I'll eventually get to you. Obviously, it's going to take me a little bit to get to you. I... I originally was going to, like, add a command that was going to make things smoother, but I just, uh, when the collection log was coming together, I, I sort of changed my path, and I, I wasn't able to get that out this update. Hopefully I'll get it out next update, but for most people, I'll just manually do it. Just message me on Discord and give me your information, and uh, I'll eventually get to everybody that's that needs it. But thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, come check out the server. Got a bunch of new updates.